every time bugs. Although I think I'm getting close to the end of this game, it just keeps going. going. But um, let's try to see if we can, I can deal with it this session finally. I know I keep saying that too. You know, invited others to commit murder, and they did so. If proof of that was established, you would be charged after if you yourself committed the murders. Um, I know I just heard a while ago, but was the technical term again? It's instigating murder, okay. It's just a very weird spot to stop, huh? <laughs> Lace, Patricia Roland, and Knightley. Their crimes are unforgivable, of course. However, the one who pulled the strings from behind the scenes and drove them all to murder was none other than you, Simon Keys. Oh, look at his voice there. Need to break it in again. <laughs> Mr. Atrath, you really do speak your mind freely. But you know... I instigated murder. There's no single word about that murder, sister. I'm gonna look at the ladder in a moment, but let's press all of them all at first. I presume I didn't press all of them. And there's not a single word. Well, does that surprise you? You treat the same conclusion if you examine it. Hmm, given his composure, I tell he's not bluffing. It is bloodies or something, right? But I blood isn't covering the ladder, excuse me. Thomas Green, thank you so much for helping me. Helping with my plan. I'm, I'm glad that we can help each other get what we want. It's like getting two birds with one stone. So this is... It says it's from Kay, but no one really knows who brought it the letter. So it's, it's gonna be from Simon. Wait. Please get revenge for 20 years ago. Uh, that's... I mean, that's pretty... That could be taken as to get murder. Please get revenge. And if that person then goes and try to murder someone. What other letters did we have? Well, the system is not the letter. Do we have other letters in inventory right now? It does not appear that way. No. And I did look at both of them, right? Yes. All the pages. Well, does it mean that every single word in this letter had been carefully calculated? Well, I guess you could say that's like beating a monkey to climb a tree. Unless you can sum up for what I caused those murders. You got nothing on me. Echo, you can't accuse me of instigating murder. Man, this, I cannot do this voice properly. <laughs> What a shame, Mr. Edgeworth. If I had said the word kill even once, I guess it could, could be considered an indication. Let's not have his voice become Yod again. I know you instigated the murders. Hmm. <laughs> he has to become Yod, oh no. Um. Oh. What? How did I do this voice? I, how, how, I know what it sounds like, I don't know how, what I did in my throat to do that. Perhaps I should let you in on this mystery. Perhaps I should let you in on this mystery. It's me. Actually, I must have been here on the police. I must have been here on the police the best to keep to the crime. What? I was the one who ordered that place was killed the crime. Well, that's definitely the instigation. So now we have to prove that he's going to talk to us. You taught me yourself. That's enough. The funny thing is, it, it means absolutely nothing if you have no proof. I mean, there's no way I could say something like that. No way, no way, no way, no way. It's so precise what I have to do with my throat with that voice. And I can't keep, keep it straight. Hmm, that's certainly true. It means absolutely nothing if I can't prove it. If there was some evidence that could prove what he said over the phone... Nicole recorded it. 
Well, maybe I did say it today, but there's no way for you to prove it. I got press it first, and then press on the gold stick. Maybe you did say it. Did you or did you? Didn't you? Did... That, that's weird. People used to say, or did you not? not... <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really matter what I did or didn't. That's not what is important. I'm sure you know full well, Mr. Edgeworth. There's no way to prove it. There's no way any proof could exist. <sighs> Until I find some sort of proof, my arguments are meaningless. Should I press him to draw out more information or review the evidence? At any rate, I must find some way to break to his defense. He confessed to me over the phone. It just I, I know it's gonna come step with on these hints. He told me how to lace kill his screen. If only there was some evidence that could prove what he said over the phone. So let's get to that. Oops, there's it. So Nicole's tape. This was not the fast way though, is it? A recording of what was intercepted from the back that was planted on Kane. It is my firm conviction that you instigated the murders. After all, you told me so yourself. Hmm, perhaps that's a little anonymous, Mr. Edsworth. Actually, I was thinking who all those boys the best to kill to the crime. What? Did I say that? I really don't remember. You may think you, just, you can deceive us as much as you want, but unfortunately for you... Unfortunately? You used the box, the box to eavesdrop on our conversation. But there was someone else who wired up that bug of yours and recorded the whole thing. It was... got it. <clears throat> so shorter sentences are harder for me, I'm so, I've noticed. In other words, the conversation between you and that clown is recorded on that tape. Uh, like she says, a schemer turns in his own schemes. And this is what he meant. Miss Swift, I'd like to listen to your thing. Roger. Why is, why is he here again? On a high-profile case that involves the assassination of the leader of the world. This is a ridiculous high-profile case. Why is she allowed to be just here on the crime scene? Ah, it's, it's right about here. Mr. Edgeworth, that got his cell phone is ringing. We don't need to listen to the whole thing. Who is this? Are you the person who ambushed Kane? Mr. Edgeworth, I will listen to this too. Very well. And this is where it starts. Well, I must say. Ah, that's out. What's wrong? Well. There ain't nothing we can do past this point. Oh, for fuck's sake, what's your problem? What? Why? Why wasn't it recorded? Oh, that's so sad. Did you really think I'd leave behind any incriminating evidence? The bug landed as a special feature. Okay, so you're admitting that you planted the bug? It can be turned on and off your remote control. What? That sort of thing exists? Certainly, remote control is an interface that still exists. However... Are you saying you switch off the device so that your own voice would not be recorded? Precisely! Well, this is admitted to that much. Impossible! You couldn't have done that unless you knew you were being recorded. Isn't it obvious? I know. I guess you just don't get it. You could call it a punch. I had a feeling I was being wired at. Miss Swift was it. I figured things out because I knew. Because you knew about the kidnapping. Don't tell me. You were listening in on, on that conversation. Why would you not be? That's right. Look kind of thing of it. I'm surprised you didn't realize it until now. 
Oh, I'm continue to prosecute you. That's not the thing, is there? It's alright. <sighs> oh my. And the wild stuff. What? Oopsie days. What? Must I get the end result or something like that? Ah, since you don't have any chances of proof of the investigation charges, it's game over. <sighs> Mr. Prosecutor, was my recording now helping you right now? He did start by saying something. It seemed like, well, or something like that. Hey there, something, anything at all in my recording? There was something at the start. Something really, really vague. It was swift. There was the balloon sound. That early, interestingly enough. So it was still on the balloon at, the, at that time. How do you explain the cup of the Nazi by the, the top of my head? But in order to uh, turn it off, you truly need to be somewhat close. I mean, not really, actually. Or signals can go a long way. That's how phones work. You dare the only one who came into contact with the culprit. Well, and psyche. Yeah, all of us think about. Oh, useless evidence. But hey, hey, hang on. You, admi you admitted that it was your bug, just in the right? If he admitted that it was his bug that was on the bench, then isn't that, that by and large, um, an admission that he kidnapped Kane? That's already a fair race there. Let's have a look on the next topic. Next. <laughs> oh, what's this? He seems a bit eager to change this topic of conversation. You were the only one who came into contact with the culprit. Holy K came into contact with the Simon. If any sound was recorded at the time she was with the culprit. Did Nicole record something from that time, huh? Miss Swift, how long have you been recording? Since two nights ago. Since two nights ago, I can. Since two nights ago, in that case, any of the conversations with Simon possibly have been recorded. Two nights ago, that night was K. Two nights ago was the president. Miss Swift, could we listen to the last right night recording? Last night? I don't mind that. But the corporate conversation should have been recorded at that time. Miles, last night K was. With you, that would make you seem like the culprit. He was with us last night? Oh right, wait, I'm kidding. <laughs> no? See, I'm a bit confused. No, 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 right. Two nights ago. Wait, there was... The night that Kier got kidnapped was... Two nights ago. The, the night between... The last night was the one where... Um, we took down place, that went midnight. Oh, seems I was wrong, or oh, but it was more like it was when um, Edward lost his badge. But I got imprisoned, jailed for one time. Mr. Panzerjuda, what's my recording to help you out down? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. I got mixed up. Hello, there we go. Two nights ago, Simon called Kate to the roof. Now, Kate doesn't remember much of the conversation, right? Remember. Why would he have said something about instigating it? I do wonder. We still don't know how the president got down from the roof. I will point that out. Good chance he has something to do with Simon, but... Either, either, Simon, gave the, either Simon gave him the list for some reason, it would be weird, because he was alive after that. Or he came down to the feet first floor, but we haven't es established anything about that. He finished to the recording from that time, okay? Miss Swift, please last listen to the recording from two nights ago. Ah, 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 okay, that, okay. Ah, uh, the text being we were on her shirt is bothering me. <laughs> yeah, this is the sound of the hot air balloon. 
Oh, that's right. At the time, Simon was carrying Kay in a hot air balloon. There you go, he was near Kay. Is there anything we call it? A bang and a clang. A bang and a clang. Hang on, uh, first of all, what was Jill Crane murdered with? Was it the candelabra? I can't remember if, if it was the candelabra or if it was made to look like it was the candelabra. I can't remember which way around it was. There's a hammer. He said been bludgeoned with a hammer to death. Right? And then later stuff with the candelabra. Maybe. Careful. I hope I'm still recording because I actually accidentally pressed buttons right then and there. Um Better be. Everything looks to be alright. Wait, did I swap? Did I play the bottom of the screen? I. Wait, how the fuck did I do that? <laughs> okay, um. Yeah, really, how did I do that? There we go. <laughs> Brandon, there's a hot key for that as well. I know something changed in my peripheral vision. A bang and a clang. It should be too high up from anything be from the um, film not to be heard. If they're still going up, it'd be weird if they could hear something from inside the building, but it'd be possible. Bang the clan could it be from the auction I don't know. Ah that was a, a gunshot indeed. I can't remember when was a gunshot used? Interesting phrase in me. <laughs> it seems you were quickly after it the bomb. However, you were a little too late. You can't run anymore. That gunshot ties you to the case. Ah, what are you saying? There's no gun involved in this case, is there? That's what I'm thinking too. A gun... Okay. There was a gun in the first case. No gun in the second case. Not going in the third case either. The killer all the killer even used a knife for some reason, not a gun. Remember that? I don't recall a gun in the fourth case. Not in this case. Stunning in a few guns indeed. There should be someone connected to the case who fired a gun. Let's go to the power fights right now. I don't recall a gun. No, 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 no. Oh, hey, you. Your profile is just up there. <laughs> a prince. Every time we met the Pretty Big Circus, mastermind behind it all. That's easily miserable, isn't it? A gun, are you saying? I really. Oh, hey, I got that as well. <laughs> How many people is this? Oh, my lord, 23 people, huh? That's 23 people. And right there, that Dean Gustavia and Isaac Dover are both tied to the case, even though they aren't here. Um, this is a very interconnected case. Really, a lot of people are interconnected. Um, and I don't think we have. We don't have separate profile pictures for the Bad Devil and these who are young. So, really, there are just a lot of fucking people in this case. <laughs> Lost his life, that was very specific. 
find a gun, you see. Let's strike with the evidence that points to that person. Which piece of evidence connects the gunshot to the case? Oh, lordy. Gunshot. How was this tape, anyways? Right. Gunshot, you say? Sure, I'm likely to shoot somebody, but. That's really not tight, and I don't know why Sam will be listening to a recording of that and then suddenly realize that he... That get that's getting picked up. A gunshot, you say? Cameron's testimony. The point in the gun that he can hear, indeed. But this, what was this? This is a photograph. 12 years ago of a staged kidnapping connects the guns to the case you say what that's the only thing i'm seeing right now let me look through more thoroughly the black market auctions were held here You know, I think, have you even used this before anywhere? There's nothing that about gunshot in here. So it couldn't be about global studios. That'd be wet anyways. Crushed to death. There was gunpowder on his hand, right? So the president tried to shoot at him then? Is that what you're saying? Could it have been that he, the, president got, the president got crushed by the hot air balloon for some reason? Gunpowder residue was found on his right hand. I'd forgotten about that. Well, this is interesting. So he tried to shoot Simon for some reason. It's written right here in the body doubles autopsy report. Gunpowder residue was detected in his right hand. Whoever was key at the time this concert was recorded? Well, that's right, she was being carried to the roof of the Grand Tower in your balloon. And as it turns out, there were, there were a few more people on that very same rooftop at the time. Right, he was up there, not downstairs. Wait! A percent? Wait, yes, yes, yes. President was up there. See, for some reason I kept thinking that the President was up there two nights ago and King was up there one night ago. I thought that was like the entire case that K being up there was one night later. Got that mixed up for ages ago. So the president all of a sudden saw the balloon come up with a kidnapped girl in it. But then the body of double did. There's no way I it's highly up doubtful that he would recognize Simon. But he won't recognize the red raincoat. The red raincoat would be very much organized. Is he gonna have a bullet inside him? <laughs> Did he get shot? Is this one in? I think I read this already. I think whatever. And as it turns out, there were a few more people on that very same roof at the time. You mean the body that wasn't me? Well, you went up there at the time. Ah, certainly. After we talked for a brief moment. The body devil noticed something and had me leave before him. Oh, really? Now, what if the concert rang out after that? This prisoner was up here. But he was, and he was alive and that well down below. I thought that he was down below when he. when Simon, Simon was carrying K. Because I was kind of mixing up the knife. Thinking that when he could make. No, what if the gunshot rang out after that? We can clearly hear it in the recording. I oh, thought that, that you wouldn't have noticed it. Do we intend to feign ignorance until the very end? That's nothing more than... That's nothing more than a real conjecture. 
but we heard that the recording was not just a gunshot. Are you telling me the clang is it hitting like the burner of the hotel balloon? Because um, that's, a, that's a ridiculous amount of time difference between the bang and it hitting something for bullet. So I didn't even think those were that could be the bullet hitting something. If it wasn't classy, you can hear the bullet hitting hit something hitting something. I was only raised for a moment there by accident. If the body double was aiming at Simon, then the bullet may have struck which piece of evidence? The balloon, surely. The burner. Unless we're saying that there was not case badge. It's like a bit of that stupid. The body double likely fired the gun at the balloon. If you assume that the bullet will hit something. It would have been the balloon's basket. Or the burger. Except they examined it immediately. Oh yes, that's a medal. Yep, there it is. Let's see if you can examine it, examine anything else first. That's a neat model I made. There's a gas tank here. It's attached to the basket. Um, I don't think we would have been looking at this tank right now if a bullet had hit it. Yep. In fact, by this time I know I could be still here. It would have been fun sky high. Pressurized gas tanks exploding is terrifying. They're turning into basically torpedoes. Let's look at the word elsewhere then. It's at the bottom. There we go. This hole. It's a bullet hole. A bullet hole was found in a basket. You won't be able to talk your way out of this one. Small hot air balloon used for advertising. And so I read that. Uh, how do you intend to explain the concert and the bullet hole? I wonder if rape laser is actually going to be relevant. A name like that I thought it was going to actually be a character, but maybe not. The detective, detective from the third case. Rape laser. He might be the detective that Blaze said he would, he may disappear, but that's unclear. Because we also talk about his youth, and I don't think he was young 18 years ago. Um, I was also wonder if, how Mr. if Mr. Master's story is gonna wrap up even more since... Since he is not free, right? I guess I was surprised and I understood. How do you intend to explain the concert and the bullet hole? <laughs> so, you figured it out. Yeah, yeah good. God damn, I can do it. Was... I guess it's impossible to hide anything from you. Spit it out already. Okay, okay. No need to be so impatient. Two nights ago. Am I? It happened when I was flying the pilot into the rooftop. Going to our cost section view of viewing platform. Oh fuck. That was a terrible mistake. Ah. I saw the body of one you miscarped it on the roof. Talk about the surprise. Only the double noticed me. He told Miss Scott need to leave ahead of him. Ah. I don't have anything thick to drink, which would really help. And then he pointed a gun at me and fired. So you're not any admitting any about being kidnapped, okay? Why do you want to shoot down the balloon? It's simple. The body double had intended to kill Miss Courtney. Kill me? That's right. You talked to the devil about John, didn't you? That makes sense. Well, it's not like the body devil would have met with you otherwise. From his point of view, it was like showing him evidence that he was a fake. 
told me he was afraid of Judge Courtney because he knew about John's past. Afraid? That's exactly right. That bunny that double was a coward, after all. I even remember how his hands were trembled when he fired a gun at my balloon. Are we all clear? Are we all clear now? I was only there by chance. Just a friendly witness who was passing by. Well then. Contradiction, huh? It happened when I was riding the balloon to the rooftop. I'm losing his voice and I really don't think I have anything to drink over here and the water doesn't really need to the trick. How about what time was that? I think it was around 11 pm. I said, Can it? It's so inside with the telescope that the company went on the roof, right? Yes, it was indeed about that time. There doesn't seem to be any contradictions. However, the time frame is important. And it was at that the moment. I saw the body double and you, Miss Corny, on the roof. Talk about a surprise. What are you saying? This roof that went. when. when this one. What the fuck is this word? Front the rule. I've never seen that word written down, I don't think. Are you saying this route of rendezvous was beyond your expectations? There's no way I could have known about that beforehand. Well, once the dust settled, I guess what I, I could guess what would have happened though. The devil had intended to kill Miss Coffee. Hey, you did, did you realize that? No, no, I did not realize it. It's because you were blabbing on and on about that kid. So you were listening on for a while. And uh, that's I, uh. What kind of mother are you? If things are going badly, your kid might have died because of you. Alright, you piece of shit. I'm your opponent, not her. Don't change the conversation. Judge Connie, I'd like you to please leave this to me. My policy, please, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Oh, come to law. Please watch over this man, I'm 28. My voice has gotten deeper, hasn't it? <laughs> You're making me laugh. This late didn't even notice the balloon. Oh, did the double notice me? He told me Scott to leave ahead of him. <laughs> he, had, he had her leave ahead of him. Did you say the body double had planned to kill her? Let me clear my throat for a moment. Someone saw the scene of the murder. At the time, nobody knew that the president was a fake, right? Once he got, in, got the info on John, he'd be able to kill both mother and son whenever he wanted. Thank goodness he's dead. Now you're both safe. You should be happy. <laughs> what are the emotions you have towards that man? Please put them aside until it's all over. For now, please continue your story. <laughs> yes, she is. And so, that cowardly body double must have panicked when an eye to suddenly appear from the skies. He then pointed a gun at me and fired. And the bullet struck the balloon's basket clearly. I panicked and quickly tried to get away so he wouldn't shut me down, but talk about the course, girl. <laughs> you said you tried to get away right then. That's right. Is there a problem? Is there a problem with this statement? 
Him trying to get away right away. Get away right away. Clearly the president left using the balloon. Which is interesting. Considering that we don't know how in that case Simon left. I'm not saying the person didn't even trust the body level. Is there a problem with him saying he immediately left? I mean, whenever you have a choice like that, it's basically always yes, but. Well, I'd like to figure out what it is first. Mm. It seems extremely likely the president had to leave using the balloon, meaning that he would have landed. Obit pretty cool enough how some get down. He almost have placed K on the rooftop. He hasn't admitted that he kidnapped K yet. You couldn't have gotten away before then, correct? He didn't hasn't admitted that, he has just admitted that he was happened to be around there on the balloon. He has a bit of kidnapping K? Alright, the fucking badge was clearly had to be there for the buck to buck to have intercepted the thing. So yes, he has to have have admitted to kidnapping K at this point. Yeah, that's right, I forgot. After the fight of a fight one shot, he and the dead went to the fifty first floor. We have a lot of testimony which Points the contradictory. I looked around for a bit and then landed on the roof. Things like that take me to your testimony. Sure, I don't mind. How did, he, how did he come to learn about the 51st floor, anyways? That's a good question. When did he learn about that? Because if the president did enter at it at that point, he would have learned about it, but if he didn't, then no. Only was he. He bought the K, I suppose, and see it being really stuck in uh, base. Let's press it first. Show me the hatch that leads to the hidden storeroom for the Black Market Auction. Black Market Auction? Huh? I don't really want to remember, but that was two days ago, right? Indeed, the Black Market Auction was held on the 50th floor of the Crown Tower. A lot of people. A lot of people have, who must have been coming and going through the, through the storeroom during the incident. Did we ever see this picture? Because it's very silly looking. No, no that's not Kloosberg. Um, I do wonder if any of these are supposed to be anyone. I doubt it. I hope there's somebody else said that today. Indeed, if the double truly did enter the storeroom, as Simon said, it's strange that nobody noticed him. You have evidence against the Corvette as well. The problem here is when the incident occurred. Maybe not a precise moment, then a certain piece of evidence may come in handy. Only with the last one in front of the balloon. So that means, so that means if Simon hadn't come, such court would probably be, have been in danger. So, wouldn't that mean he saved her life? Accidentally. The motive behind Mr. Key's actions was probably not so noble. After all, this man was there to commit a crime just like the fake president. To expose his crimes, I need to listen carefully to his testimony. There must be an opening somewhere. Last testimony. Here we are? Yes. I'll be that will necessarily trust what out this. Once again, you lied. Alright. 
Well, the bunny level could not have entered the storeroom on the 51st night. First, the first, first little floor, two nights ago. Miss Hart's testimony proves it. What? How can you trust that Sam journalist's testimony? Well, to say. You can't insult my mantle like that. You're just gonna have the same voice forever. Two nights ago, that lady was talking out the 51st floor. But considering that Lada managed to find out about it, it's not unreasonable that he would know about it. <laughs> Given that, just how did that by the body of the proof? Indeed, that is what we must now prove. If it is not used in the video of the, of the, of the, the first floor of the reef that later the then only one route of remains. How did the pilot ever leave the roof without using the elevator or the 51st floor? This is the slow way to scroll. Man, I do not have like, any mouse space on this setup right now. <laughs> I can move on my mouse like a centimeter or two. How did the pilot flew? I remember Lang saying that. Telling us not. Not to dare to suggest that he, the president would have flown. Hey. Flown? Simon Keys, he brought in your balloon. Hey, hey, stop jumping around. Why would I even need to keep the butt by the balloon? The elevator had a security camera, and the 51st floor was being watched by Miss Hart. Your balloon was the only way the political could have left the room. Nobody's saying that you intentionally gave him a lift. <laughs> At the circus, we often perform dangerous stunts in order to surprise the audience. You think you've got the guard? Sorry, but the show ends here. I cannot hold the high pitch thing. What? Hey, Lada, was it? I'd like to ask you something. Are you saying you stood watching the 51st floor the entire time without any breaks? Well, well, we can cause. There are no mistakes in my testimony. Really now? Why didn't the sound of Mr. Edward's assistant falling into the storeroom cause you to faint? But that was after you landed, meaning that the president would have had to go climb down, according to you first. I didn't mention it before, but I might. But after that, I might, might have dozed off a little. Be more precise. Ah, uh, damn it. Well, something like that. So, so something did happen. Miss Hart, I've returned to the sound that makes you faint. You're stuck at the sound of cake falling into the storeroom floor. What, what's your point? How about this power pack? <laughs> Look at that, Mr. Edward. That's the kind of person you're relying on. That's probably really unavoidable. Can you fell into the storeroom after the body double has left the room? So he's saying that she she painted from the body double going down. In that case, <laughs> I have a theory on how things happen. After that coward body double back to shadow me. He went on and hid in the shadows until Kate fell into the storeroom. What? The ladder is in. Full sight. So, 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 so what if he was hiding? God, you need to stop immediately. It's worth that's confusing. Can't care if you guys still haven't noticed. Why did the bike not stay hidden until I had fainted? And then he went down to the face the first full hour. Well, that, that can be. Ah, precisely. No. The lock door's mystery on the roof has been unlocked. Having one character immediately in another is really hard to do. <laughs> oh, he even said in my voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way, there's, there's more. I thought I hated the body double about John Marsh. No. That's why I hit John the next day to in practice. But he got himself killed instead. Killed by who? It doesn't seem like it would make sense for Blaze to kill him now. 
considering what we know about their cooperation. I'm sure Greece is getting advantages from the president. You thought, so you thought that he and the president, after he shot at you, you went and told him about that? Really? In other words, the one who murdered the party level was none other than John. You look no more to kill the boy double. He knew, he knew it was the real person and son. And how would you have known that? Because I told him so. In a letter. Oh, what did you say? Uh, that is a lie. I can see Judge Cody being. being a. a mother that reads all the letters addressed to her son. Yep, it's all I. Huh? But then again, maybe not. Maybe I really did do it. Right, son? It's true that I caused Mo It's true that I got Mozilla's head to fall. But I didn't know about my dad until today. I'm not lying. Oh, really? I wonder about that. I... I found out about the head falling thanks to the fog. Now, if you would have the one who caused it to fall, and the party that was crushed to death. <sighs> that settles it. You got the copy. You successfully carried out your revenge. Congratulations! All the pieces of the puzzle are now in place, as Mr. Edgeworth would say. Oh, there are lots of bits now then, and they with puddles. The murder of the double. We're finally establishing how he came down. I'm glad about that. Is there anything else that hasn't been established? Hang on. There's so much in this game, game that it's hard to keep in mind. I mean, we haven't established what the hound piece is about, but I don't think this is a thing. Something that's not been finished is the killer. The killer is after this dude. So he's fucked. <laughs> I mean, he's very much so fucked. Dohen wants something with him. Something. I don't think Dohen wants him dead. Seems like Dohen might want to protect him to some degree, but the killer wants him dead. So that's. An interesting scenario to be in. Um, is there anything else that's not being finished? Right, something that's not been established is, and it might not never be established, is Blaze's connection with Alba, because they are without doubt connected. There's no question about that. It might be. It's, it's clearly an intentional... They have intentional similarities. But they might not want to mention them because that would be spoilers for the first game, obviously. That would be mad box spoilers for the first game. Um, smart. Just stab myself in my own pencil. Good job, good job me. It's... I, my pencil is extremely sharp, too. <laughs> it's very, very sharp. And I just have to poke a damn hole in this with, with it beat my finger on the other side. Everything about that was stupid part. Manipulating humans into finding with each other sounds less like me, right? Let's not lose his prize. I did the same thing. I played the nightly and place. At any rate, there's no way the party double could have gone for a ride in my balloon. The devil was crushed by the monster's head, right? And who was it that caused the monster's head to fall? I didn't spot any immediate contradictions. Do you understand now? Oh, the body doubles are real killer is. The truth that I provided with them. Provided them with, with game, they must pick a motive for murder. You get it? Those two tried to kill each other because of the truth you're so fond of. 
Impossible. Hey, you detective over there. Hurry up and arrest this murderer. What's wrong? Why are you two working? The damn. <laughs> I've got so. Just admit. In the end, aren't you all the same as place? Everybody that worked. You ignore the prime suspect. Come after me without any evidence. Our insights can be distorted for the best that you need. This law you are believing. That is known by no means true. If we see one of our intermissions uh, for the show that has been. We're saying something very obvious and then getting stuck down. So and Simon is caring. Hmm. If, if you're not going to arrest anyone, maybe I should have a, have a talk with the policemen outside. If I tell them the two marshes together, they'll be forced to take action. Simon Keys, your testimony isn't over yet. That animation is amazing. Really? I think it is trying to stop me, Mr. Edward. You don't have any evidence, do you? Which means there's no chance for you to win, right? But if you plan, still plan to stop me, you should, be, you should be prepared to take on this much risk. Hey, finally. Also, we, why are we breaking the fourth wall that much? What? That, that, that's what much? I mean, the wall. Penalty thing makes more more sense dialogue wise in um, in court. In the non non in the non investigation games, but so I suppose. I've been actually a bit disappointed that they haven't been doing that. Like the health part has been for the most part been too easy. The only time it's been a problem is when I'm like completely overlooking something. It's one single thing. Great! And I haven't noticed contradiction yet. It's not a natural, after all, the faith of the true cult be something hardly at stake here. Hey, Miles. I don't take a nice deep breath. M Mr. Shields? At times like this, you should take a breather and think back. The fence turn is all of us remain calm in the pinch, huh? Smile in the face of danger. The point of contention is so between your logic and screams lies a bite of escape route. How's about, for example, if you think about it like this? My question is, if, if the bite ball escapes through by using the air balloon, how did Simon escape? Like, I doubt Simon climbed the bottom of the balloon, right? Wait a minute. And he didn't go to the elevator, right? There's no signs like that, although maybe there is, since Lang always checked for signs. Lang and Gamsu only checked for signs of uh, the president. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Now, yeah, and, and if they saw somebody escaping, Lang saw somebody leaving the roof through there, they would pursue, they would pursue suspect them. So did they exit to the fifty first floor themselves, Simon? How? Did, what were they? Would they want to read the red wing code at some point in the picture, maybe? Instead of jail, maybe who knows? That's about, for example, the thing of it like this. What's important is not whether or not a bite will cut on the balloon, but whether, if we were to assume he did, what circumstances would have allowed for that? Turn my finger around. Yes, 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 let's not be cliche right now. Well, I'll have to win a cheap invitation of your old man. Did it help? Circumstances that would have allowed the body to get on the balloon. If they landed. If 
they crashed. Um, Simon would have not have not noticed the bite for a while for some reason. Almost. It's an interesting question here. Oh, that's right. And then bite not only had a large build, but he also had a gun. And in spite of that, no traces of sleeping drugs were found in his system. What do you mean, in spite of that? What you means? It can't be. What? Mr. Edson, are you ready yet? I hope you haven't forgotten about I hope you haven't forgotten about this. Uh, this is bad. I must break, I must break his testimony somehow. A lot of press, but not... Present something wrong. Manipulating humans into fighting with each other sounds just like a movie, right? So you manipulated the body double and John to your will. You sound rather persistent about that, aren't you? Very much so. I am an animal thing after all. That this is the greatest animal in the world. Man. I just tell people, I just tell people the truth, in order to help them get revenge. They still be thanking me. <laughs> I can do this voice. Mr. Edward, I'm kind of scared. Steal yourself, Kane. Hey. That's a pun. One who sows seeds of revenge as a jest. This is an opponent we must stop at all costs. Sins of the past are scary. So, so scary. You'll never see your retrofusions coming. I did the same thing. Nightly and please. So you still intend to insist that you were not directly involved to the very end? Right. I, I never did it my own hands. I just like the watch. As they hate and kill each other. Never realizing that they were on, that they were being manipulated all along. There. Spectating from afar, just like you did 12 years ago. Give me the highest. Give me the sister's five instead. <laughs> That's so funny. Wait, I just realized something. I don't know how I just realized this. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Yes, it's the the, the begging incident, the, the third case. That was 18 years ago, and the this is five incident was 12 years ago. That's a sick difference between them. I don't somehow I didn't realize that the kids grew by six years after. There were six years now before that happened. If I remember correctly. All your fathers have to recommend it to nothing. But you normally call somebody like that. Think about it. Well, yeah. Somebody's was a cool. Hey, gentle land, restrain yourself. Damn! Damn! Damn it! We don't know the conclusion your father arrived at. However, you are here now because he chased after his. We chased after his footsteps. I don't feel a little more. But I don't believe that kind of idealism will solve anything. Besides, at any rate, there's no way to pack the book of the plan for riding my balloon. Well, that's the only way the Bundle could have gone, gone, gone off the tower. Oh, fuck. Well, let's suppose that was the case. Even if I had carried the body the down, what's the problem with that? So at minute, you did carry the body the 
That's the nigga fussy way I've set up since Mr. Edgeway. That's just not like you. I do wonder if uh, they just ran out of space for having to give them their own objection voice. Or what's up? You think the party that play out here at gunpoint and ask me the code of sightseeing, Joey Wright? There's no way that could have happened. And you know that for, 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 for well, don't you? It's possible you negotiate it with him by using the information about John as a bribe. But he shot at me, remember? There's just no way, no way, no way! I could be necrocing it! In that case, what if you use sleeping drugs and transport it in one of us not now? Surely the body level just took it on its own to take the balloon by force, right? Surely it got stolen. What is this thing anyways? Oh I oh no. Know. Oh. Don't allow me to ask. Have they detected any trace of sleeping drugs on his body? Oh, it's not good. I can't find any openings. This is a treasure word. No. Mr. Actual, isn't there something more interesting we should be talking about? Ah, yes, feeling John again. That battle was crossed by that monster's head, right? No such thing has been confirmed. No, no, he was, we only know he was crossed today. Allow me to propose a question. How is that double really crossed beneath the monster's head? <laughs> well, genius prosecutor, you sure are quick to betray your previous statements. Perhaps you would want to do that he was crossed by the monster's head to begin with. Indeed, I certainly came to that conclusion once before. However, that was, there been nothing else that was capable of crossing the middle there. Like the balloon. However... No, why the past tense? It's not like there's anything else, you know. But he was, he was alive downstairs, we saw, even after he got down, you know, so it's... So that's confusing. So if he got crossed by the balloon, then um, how would he have both written down it and then gotten got crossed by it after getting up? Unless, unless Simon basically gave him a ride. The body double was crossed to death by the monster's head. That is an unshaken to death. Oh, is there nothing else? Some decisive evidence that connects this man to the cross president. Oh, inside the Mr. Edgeworth. Why oh, don't you stop this deal, the struggle? Besides, that's the only know for the culprit is, remember? And who was it that caused the monster set to fall? Certainly, the one who caused the monsters had to fall was John. However, even John himself had missed that. This is starting to feel like another one of those DL6 moments where somebody, somebody did something that could have led to somebody dying. And we're just trying to figure out whether it did or not. I I don't really like that type of fighting. See, the problem I have with the DL6K, right, is that when you start out the case, well, start out the case and get it, but 
the starting point is the claim that Edgeworth, when throwing the pistol, accidentally shot his father. But Edgeworth threw a pistol, the pit pistol, mis pistol fired in the air by accident and it devoted his father. Therefore, Edgeworth killed his father and he's guilty of, guilty of that. Now, by the end of the case, it's not really changed at all. All we are saying is that Edward threw the pistol, the pistol fired me there, but the bullet didn't hit his father. So really, we're not, legally speaking, that should not make a difference on whether or not somebody goes to jail or not. It really shouldn't. Whether or not something stupid somebody did happened to kill somebody or not, if it was basically at that point chance whether it would missed or hit. Um, that's not a factor on whether or not somebody should be in prison. But I firmly believe that people should go to prison for rehabilitation purposes. That we should put people in prison if they're not if they're a danger to society, right? If somebody is a danger to society, that's when we should put them in prison, right? protect other people. Whether or not the, the bullet happened to hit Gregory, that's, that doesn't change whether or not Edgeworth is a danger to society, that's silly. It reminds me of uh, a song that I have at IRL, where um, this one moron working for Fox News decided he was, he was gonna go, go on a public street in the middle of a busy public street and throw an axe. This is real, this happened on camera. He did, that he did so that on live TV, he's gonna go in the middle of a busy public street, set up the target and try to throw an axe at it. Stunningly bad for my idea, right? So what happens? Like a live TV, he decides that he's gonna try to show how macho he is by throwing an axe in the middle of the street. So he throws it and he misses. He misses the target and it goes goes past it. Goes past it and hits someone. Hits hits a hits a bystander, hits a completely unrelated bystander. And ends up slightly even cutting their cutting, cutting their uh, arm, I believe, and leg. Now barely so Luck, luck, lucky them, it, it didn't hit them in a harmful way, too harmful for way, but it could have easily hit them in the chest, like a plate first or hit them in the face or something. Like, whether or not it happened to be a lethal throw or not, shouldn't, it doesn't change whether, how much of de or danger that person was to society, but like, they're clearly unstable and idiotic. No person is stupid enough. To go, to go and decide, hey, I'm gonna go throw a fucking axe in the middle of a street to try to show how manly I am. Nobody like that should be allowed to walk free, as far as I'm concerned. They're huge to attention to society. It could have just as easily killed somebody. Right? It was just by chance that they didn't kill somebody at that point. And again, he's not somebody with experience in throwing axes. Probably the first time he's done that. So his stupidity is clearly, he's, he's stupid and reckless to the point of it being a lethal danger to others. The fact that this happened to me shouldn't, be a, shouldn't make a difference of whether or not he should go to prison, right? If he had happened to kill the dude, if, it, you know, if the axe had, had hit him a little differently, he probably would have gone to prison too. I don't think that should be a deterrent meaning factor, right? Chance. Right? Now, uh, then you, sure, in that topic you could make some argument about like, what about those shows where people intentionally throw knives around people. At least that's practice, but this time you can regulate whether or not those are allowed, but... And I don't have any practice at all, it's just incredibly stupid at that point. But right now it seems that we are kind of 
doing the same. I actually forget why I'm saying that. Right, we're saying... We're saying that... Did... Did the... That, that John did cause the motion I had to pull. That did... The only thing we're trying to prove is whether or not the person happened to be underneath when, the, when it fell. Whether, we're trying to prove whether or not John accidentally killed somebody. That's not... That's not that shouldn't be a de legal determining factor in anything about whether or not John, John should be punished in some way. That's my thoughts on that. Well, I'm gonna kill the turtle, that's John Marsh. That seems the police happened to be here. Oh, well, no, not yet. There's still room for further investigation. Let's go tear down my chest. Okay. Put it down for drawing. Fuck about it. <laughs> Don't force yourself. I'm spilling so much my tongue in this voice. Well, then tell me. What else is there to investigate? And if you can, I want to get arrested as soon as possible. You could overlook a crime, are you? Am I wrong? Mr. Edgeworth, what will we do? Is there really no hope left? Think, think. If Mr. Keyes killed the double, then the murder could only have occurred when the two met face to face. But well, we know from the autopsy that he got crushed. Now, the, I suppose the crush could have been post mortem as well. You know, crushed to, to death. So, was he crushed with a hot air balloon? What he had, had with him at the time must be the real murder weapon, the hot air balloon. And I just resized the game again. Funny, does he intend to be this effort in the very end? The body devil's cause of death was rather unique. If he was crossed under the monster's head, then the killer would be done after all. Isn't there anything else that could request the devil? Something else that could have crushed the body double. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Those are the other the five statements. No, that's not. No, this is not. Wait, why is it not flashing in the park green? This is the contradiction. This is us. This would be me as just pointing out that maybe he was a lion instead. It has a lot of metal to it, so it would have a lot of weight. The double is first for the monsters can do right. This is not a contradiction, it's just I was pointing out another possibility, so I'm not going to about it. But I don't see anything else either. Not now. Okay, good, that was it. John was not the one who killed the body double. He was crossed by a monster. Ah, I see what you're doing here. <laughs> Good clowning around. This is lucky at all. I get it. John is supposed to understand the heart of a monster. The one who understands the heart of monsters is you. Not even I have monsters for friends, you know. A giant lion. A griffin, I suppose. Hmm, stop being so modest. Didn't you have one very important friend? The monster you control at the will. Simon Keyes, you are the one who killed the body double. That, that's... The lion balloon. The monster made of cloth that expands when filled with hot air. It suits you quite well, wouldn't you agree? Sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. So he lifted the person down, went them and back up, and then dropped the base. But then he hardly did get on. Like, surely he wasn't on the fucking bottom when he dropped his right? 
You've been fixated on your claim that you manipulate John and the body level. Probably because of it's an impossible fantasy of yours. After all, even an animal tamer cannot tame the dead. Well, the body level had already been murdered while he was on the roof. We have a picture of him on the ground, do we not? Now you're confusing me even further. Can we not see the president? We definitely have a picture of the president here. And I don't know why, like, would, uh, would Simon have known that John was filming? Do you know if, like, set something up? Last night? So this is, if you're saying that this is after the president's death. Well, what in the bloody blue ball fuck is this then? You're saying that this is after the president. You're saying this is one day after the president's death. What? Well, I'm super fucking confused. Did he set it up like a doll or something? But why do we not all... Since... Okay. Now, if... If Simon seems like... Put him up like a scarecrow... I have a serious problem with that, because... It's implied that that's... That that's a video, even if it's just like two still images for us, we're told that it's video. So it makes sense for us to presume that the president is moving and walking around in the video and that they would notice if it wasn't. And the murder weapon was the balloon you were in. So Simon landed on him with a balloon. Then there's the question of the president from last night. Uh, I see. That's from what? I see. Although it floats in the air, the balloon still weighs several hundred pounds. Real units, please. When the double threat into you on the rooftop, you merely came up with a plan to defend yourself. And that plan was to cross him with your balloon. Well, the body double wanted to get on. Or that he was carrying a gun? No, that doesn't matter. It. Because what you carried in your balloon was the body double's corpse. Hold on a second, Mr. Edward. You're saying the body double is killed on the roof to not to kill? Okay, we're about to establish that. Well, that simply doesn't match up with, up with the time of death. What did you say? Yeah, I'm with him on that one right now. That's not like you at all, Mr. Ezra. They took a look at the autopsy report. The time of death was around 11 p.m. last night. Wait, wait, do we actually have an autopsy report? That's something I was... I was annoyed about it, that we... I specifically thought that we didn't have an autopsy on this time of death. Time of death. April 5th, around 11 p.m. 11 p.m. That is... The correct Hi But you're saying the wrong date, huh? Oh. Hmm. Interesting. We did have a No wait, I'm thinking of a very different game. That was gonna be spoilers for some other game. Well, the third case did have a thing of preserving a body. The time of death can be adjusted, but not that precisely, surely, unless you're like an expert. Ugh! That was last night! Last night! That's right! The very night that Musila's head fell. Now, Johnny Boy, come on. How about telling us the truth? You killed your father, right? I know the feeling. You hated him, didn't you? 
Again, for chasing that place and Patrice for bringing them both to ruin. My revenge has a success, all thanks to your logic. If only the time of death match up, then my logic would fit. Perhaps it is only the draw of the time of death. We are on the same page. And what's more, think Stavia, was it? You even took down the cockpit of the IS 7 incident. Then Gustavia and the IS-7 incident. And that's it. Gustavia killed Dover near this body in a block of ice. Mr. Gustavia ended up freeze the body in order to have the time of death. What cold do we have? What the hell was cold in this case? Hey! I do not uh, recall anything called. Well, there's, there is that um, cotton candy shop over there. Maybe I don't know what goes into making cotton candy. But I, it, it's not that unreasonable that some ingredients would be stored in something cold. And it's not that unreasonable that, uh, that they would have a very large container for something like that as well, considering they're selling. Uh, the place might be busy to aim less violent than ours. But I'm, maybe there's something else that was called that I'm forgetting. I don't remember, no, nothing. Is it some of the that coins out with a tea party? Mr. Gustavi, but I've been suspected. <laughs> That is, that is correct. That was one for this place. <laughs> it's saying that you didn't get, I didn't get to witness his destruction. Uh, how can you say that? Was it Mr. Gustav here fight or something? Okay, okay, you'll be knife in order now. The room. He's old voice but more high hits and that's pretty hard. But he will be in 12 times. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Miss, Mrs. Roland keeps asking me about, about that thing. Daddy, help me. Why did you come and save me? Is it because I broke my promise with you and didn't eat your sweets? Ah, it's very temporary voice anyway. I can. I can care less. My father left me alone. Even if we try to say, if we say the same lot, that man is not my father. I hate to say it, but like father, like son, you're, sp you're the spitting image of him, Simon. And the father you hated so much. Ah. What are you talking about? It must have been fate. By sheer coincidence, you just happened to use the exact same... You just happened to use the exact same method you followed it. To throw the victim's time to death. Right, that was called. Then we must cut him from the, re from the refrigerated warehouse near the harbour pal. A refrigerated warehouse? Yes, same way throughout the time of death. Ha! How they have that fact? Then some lights in where you hit the body level's body. Well, this was the place you used to hide the body. And we know that this is a cold place. It's really far from the Grand Tower, but I suppose it could still work. Since he has an hot air balloon. 
Show me the time to death by fusing the body along with John's kidnapping. Hm. It seems that everything is coming together. The kidnapping. Why are we going back to that? I know nothing about it. Don't forget, John was confined in a retreated warehouse. <laughs> I enjoy this sudden color filter. Oh, that's right. You get that bindable corpse in that very same warehouse. 18 years ago, your father hit the body in the same way. What? My father? The one who abandoned me did the same thing? Who would have guessed? That both father and son would use the same method. Stop it! Don't lump me in with that guy! My father, I'm nothing like him! There's no single connection between us! You may think so, but even now, your bond with Mr. Gustav is still immense. And says, didn't you say some once before? I don't like sweets. But, they have come from the shock. It's like a forcing your father, don't you think? Uh, okay, first I've got no idea what you're saying. Even if you deny your father, aren't your thoughts and actions the same? Lots of white and red on both of them. This is very different places. Particularly your belief of sacrificing others to protect yourself. Yeah, specific, yep, and that's matches. And finally, your crimes were brought to light, just as his were. This seems final. Uh, uh, uh. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know anything about that warehouse. I had nothing to do with the kidnapping after all. <laughs> Tricky little shit. In your little thread and Judge Courtney, it's clear that your partook in the kidnapping. That was scary. Those who got involved with you will be charged with all sorts of crimes. In the end, there's no evidence. For the instigation and for the kidnapping, none at all. Oh, what? Are you gonna fight some evidence? Just like police and the rest. Oh. I have done nothing of the sort. I can't let him provoke me. <gasps> Hello, Hiccup. He always said it. I'll pursue. I'll pursue the truth no matter what. Right. <laughs> you don't seem really only the truth that's most convenient to you. After all, that's how the police show the world for the eyes of those without power. That cat, cat is stunning with cylindrical. <laughs> cylinder cat, cylinder cat. And that's why my revenge was necessary. <laughs> None of you can catch me. Not Patricia, not Lance, and not even you. Is there a trap at this way? Isn't there something, anything we can do? Even though all my logic points on this man, I don't need evidence. Even a single piece of evidence would suffice. Let's not pull an Alba right now. Well, it's been a fun show. It, it looks like it's like the curtains to close. If you'd like, why don't you come to see my next performance? I'll let you if you want me to see it. Shred of evidence, huh? Okay, if somebody does come in with evidence right now, one last piece. Either we have some evidence and he thinks of it, has to some like the safe flashback or something. Or somebody bring, bring some points out something or brings some evidence or some stuff like that. If somebody did else did give us evidence of some sort, it would probably be Gumshoom. His character seems about to point that way. Other people? Uh, 
possibly call him, but I don't think it'll. Sebastian could make a lot of sense as well. Francisco, is Francisco here? Francisco could make some sense. The killer hasn't shown up yet. Somebody's calling it. <laughs> What's that? Okay, come soon. Got it. So to keep away the mustard, but was he not here? Come in, let's go. I was just trying to talk that I was I'm able to, pal. Detective come soon. Will you report, please? I did a quick investigation, sir. But the red told where has John was at? John was at. Yes. That three fish. That three fish. That three fish trade at Warehouse is going to be invited by the perfect circus, just as Mr. Edward said. <laughs> so it's finally here. Our trump card. Well done, Detective Comshu. Now the Mr. Kings. <laughs> there must be some mistake. Maybe it has something to do with the circus. I see. Indeed, we are not well in the form of the affairs of the circus. In that case, why don't we get your boss's opinion on this? Regina? We are ready to repeat the dare house to store the animals' foods, but I don't know much about the place. After all, I let someone handle everything. Ah, Casio! Here, here, Simon, how scary! Oh, what a shame. It seems your desperate actions after the, after the crime were wearing rain. If the body was found in the warehouse, suspicion would have fallen on you, the one in charge. And that's why you specifically moved the body back to the Grand Tower, wasn't it? Uh. However, as finding John gone, finding the warehouse was a fatal mistake on your part. Very fatal. A fatal vital mistake, I could say. Our resident great thief and detective are both rather exemplary. What's wrong? I can't even tell your face paint but your face paint that I can tell I can even tell you through your face paint that you are looking pale. Goodness was a hot thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's not over yet, Mr. Edward. Your logic is missing the most important piece of evidence. Oh, do not tell. Isn't it obvious? The evidence that I killed the body double with the balloon! You can't present it, can't you? After all, there is no such evidence No such evidence could possibly exist. The evidence? It actually still does. What to say? If Mr. Keys knew that I beat them, change was the murder. Still remain here. Ah, I see. The the pollen should be on the line balloon. Obviously. Trace amounts. Not necessarily visible, but trace amounts. It's what they have become clear. What makes some of the places messed with this balloon? <laughs> the balloon again. Didn't you all really find the bullet though? There's nobody who find anything else there. That's still it'll be fine. What is that for? Mr. Edward is a hero of all the to no matter what he's up against. That's right, pal. Of course he's gonna be fine. That was not his... Of course he's gonna be fine. It's right, but has cutting out more situations, impossible situations than I can count. What? Something about the cadence of his voice has changed. Balance, I believe you too. This seems final as fuck. But more importantly, I said that earlier you too. I'm sorry, old man, spotting you over your village, I think. One thing you are over your village in you as well. Time to start with the clean shades. Mind sets up for you are here. Tell me about anything. You're just one step away from the perfect proof. I already thought about thought it to come on off. The point of all was killed by this balloon. The proof of life and the trace is left on the basket. Simon Keys, it's time for you to atone for your crimes. As it in my own eyes. The moment this bad case is settled once and for all. My fuck. 
I'm celebrating so much. Please, prosecutor, get you right. Deliver your final blow to this unforgivable person. And this is the final piece of evidence that proves your crime. What traces were left on the balloon that caused the victim? I always point out the present or we point out the flowers. Flowers seem better. Both might work. When John found the body, a bouquet of lion lilies was there as well. Lion lilies? And the flowers from the same flower that represent the bond between a parent and child. That's your evidence. Surely they must be buried under them, under a mountain of garbage by now. Moreover, the one who threw it away was John himself. That's not much of a bond, that means. Ah, but you, that language of flowers that has nothing to do with this. Calm down, John. Certainly, you may have thrown the flowers away. However, I believe those emotions rem remain as strong as ever. Oh, let's not end this with something cliche. Come on now, this is a really, really good case. Those bonds will surely protect you from that man in the form of my final piece of evidence. What the heck are you talking about? Those flowers were crushed. Ergo, they must have come into contact with the murder weapon. Perhaps we'll find the very same pollen still stuck on the basket of your balloon. No way, no way, no way, no way. You guys examined the basket just a few moments ago. If there had been any other pollen stuck there, wouldn't you have would noticed as well? Trace amounts. Oh no, I've been not talking about me again. Mr. Kings, evidence is not restricted to what you can see with the naked eye. No more ever time. What? So, somebody did not go to school for chem. School clearly, understandably. Hey, Mom. Yes. I can't figure out how the voice with a short sentence. Would you perform one, one more scientific investigation for us? Leave it to me. The balance basket, right? No. Ah, uh, a reaction. This is clearly pulling from a yellow flower. Let's find out soon enough whether or not it's from the same flower. What? Well, that's extremely decisive. I'd say this proves that. Um, but the biteable death was caused directly by your own hand. No way, that, that can't be. I. You caused the biteable to death on the roof of the tower. But then you retrieved the body and hid it in the warehouse. Why? Why did you have to go? Did he have to go to... Why the fuck can't I read this sentence? Why does he have to go to the trouble of between the body? Why... I think it's what's stupid enough is that he's saying to the trouble, not through the trouble. Two months ago, he knew that a separate incident would occur at the tower. Ah, Miss Queens! Precisely, leaving the body there would have disrupted his plans. I see. But even so, but even so, he couldn't lay the body in the circus warehouse either. Exactly. So the next day, when he was bringing the body back to the tower once again, he saw the small fire just done, which caused the most, which caused the most Zilla's head to fall. Okay, what's with all the grammatic, grammatical errors in the ending here? And was that when the plan came to you? You planned to be the crime on John. Yeah. You made it look like the man of was the fallen head. Such foul cowardly behavior. Brother. For that reason, you carried the bundle board, put his body into the balloon, and lowered it into the film lot. At that time, the figure of the bundle board being lowered him down the rope. That's that. What's captured on, in John's video recording? See, I'm calling bullshit on that. Because if it was a fucking video recording, yeah, you'll be able to notice that it's, he's not walking in the in the film, but instead being lowered. Like canonically, this is not two separate pictures; it's a video. So yeah, I have a problem with that. It makes sense for the player to presume that 
since they're seeing that it's video and they're watching it, that they are seeing the president walking. This, that's, that's actually terrible at all. Uh, and that's all. Still a, still a minor thing in an excellent fucking case. You suffer it all, but damn, damn it, damn you! Why am I losing his voice right at the finale? You manipulated animals, you manipulated people, and you manipulated cases. I cannot pronounce that word. Manipulated. Almost as if you were a king. However, it's now all come to an end. Simon, your animals are getting angry. You have been money and steak. You never thought of them as your friends at all. How sad. Word. Damn it! Don't do 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 it! So are we not gonna have a final? Was Sebastian's logic test the, uh, the, our final one? Because I don't think we... There was a king piece there, which is surprising. I was sure that we'd... That we'd have to do a logic test with the true culprit. I have a king piece there, but nobody had a king piece. I don't think they never had. Hmm. It's about time you went back to being a mere clown. A fitting end to your pitiful jester act. Uh, stay away! Don't come to the closet! Stop it! Please stop it! Help! Daddy, please help me! Oh, fuck the old school. I know anything, I didn't do anything bad. They were the bad ones, weren't they? Horus! Oh, Horus, why? Why did you stop me? If you hadn't done that, I... I couldn't even trust the police! Nobody would help me! Same reaction as Patricia, basically. But that man, Catherine, he saved me! The only one who was helped me was Dolan! So I used everyone else. What's wrong with that? Stop, stop it! Don't, don't come any closer! Stop! Ow it! Hey! I just want to watch this without voice acting right now. It's a bit ready now, so to let all of them out of the fucking cage. The cages? Goodness. Ooh! Hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 people here. Who's not here? We have Edgeworth, Kay, and Gumshoe, and Ray, and Justin Courtney, and her son, and Emma, and Lang, and Francisca, and Regina. I I'm not seeing a lot of that. Who the fuck cares? Where is a lot anyways? Why is Nicole here without Lada? Maybe there's just a limit to how many sports they can show at once. Um. I doubt it's Mr. Master. Interesting that they have a character called Mr. Master in the game with a, with a mastermind. Possibly intentionally. Probably an intentional trick to try to get you. They, they, they clearly had multiple false flags to try to... Try to trick you into thinking that somebody else would do the mastermind, right? They had... When, when uh, Simon was calling you with a voice exchanger, he... Talked like Blaze, even though he claimed to not be Blaze, but he still used Blaze's... Um, speed patterns, which he's, which he's doing now as well for some reason. Maybe it makes more sense in Japanese, but who knows. Mm, they, they first start to get suspicion on the president or, to some degree. I don't know if that would make sense. Have, 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 have we missed that that name is probably intentional? Curious is what it is. Who's this? 
Oh, of course, the killer. It seems the game is finally over. Sally the killer. I can need to separate their bodies. Mr. Edgeworth, I must thank you. You have exposed the true identity of the mastermind. Now I am free to. What? Drawing a gun would be most inadvisable. Stay where you are and do not move. Uh, I don't have a gun. You do have a gun, do you not? You intend to draw it and fire it without anyone noticing. You must have taken it from the body double when he, he killed him. Right, because <laughs> this game is technically set in Japan and they presume that the citizens don't have guns. This man has betrayed his bond of trust with me. He would have me kill the president while knowing full well he was the body double. So he, so he could have just told the killer that hey, the president is actually a body double and I want him dead. <laughs> but he didn't trust the killer on that. Lying about a target is an extremely dangerous thing to do when a, to an assassin. Not having all the cards on the table and seriously jeopardize an assassination. Uh. However, what is even more unforgivable is your deception and your attempt to manipulate me. The time has come for your retributions. Stop! The killer, there's a 13 year old here, come on now. There comes Dohan. Oh lordy. Oh, the killer is stuttering even. Now, I'm guessing that Dohan is just gonna tell Simon that he go to prison at this point. Well, this is quite a image. <laughs> I didn't realize the killer's nose was that big. You, you are, you are. It has been far too long, Shelly. Please step aside. That man is my prey. My prey? The killer wants him dead. Why? Unless he's lying. I must ask you to spare his life. Please permit this young Nikolai to receive his proper punishment in prison. And if I refuse... That's it, that's it. That's the worst This is the first life I have saved. I will not allow it to be taken away so easily. You will save the life, the assassin, Sir Hunt of Hen. That's it worth again. That's just it worth slowed down. <laughs> Ironic. Is it not? And I, the one who has taken countless lives, am making a plea for this young one's life. He saved my life, just as I have saved his. Before I knew it, I could grow quite fond of the lad. I can't believe the use of the word lad. <laughs> Doesn't fit him. You may laugh at me as much as you wish. However, I must ask that you spare the life of the boy. From one assassin to another, please make this allowance. I understand. If you are willing to go that far... You have my thanks. I am in your debt. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, and the dog. For, for 15. The, uh, what's her face? Lada is also somewhere here. 14. Mm, 
no need for thanks. I am simple. I simply felt there would be no merit in a fight to the death with you. That is all. And with that, I must take my leave. Did this bit just disappear in the country? Damn it! Wait! Yeah, you have a responsibility to catch him, huh? Prosecutor Edward, I must thank you as well. It was necessary for this young acolyte to be put in his place. And that you have done. Now then, it's time for me to return to my humble gates surrounded by iron bars. Right now, this right by. Oh, look who's here. Hey, this guy. You killed my dad, right? Indeed. I am not the one to forget those I have slain. <laughs> I see. You must despise me, boy with hearts. In that case. Yeah. Do, do, do not panic. I simply lent the boy with the walls my knife. Take that knife and run it through my throat. A single stab should do it. Oh my. So I'm guessing that John is gonna spare him. That he's gonna learn a bit from all these other people who have gone for revenge. Now, I had intended to seek revenge. No matter how many years it took. Re revenge? Reve <coughs> revenge is really, really good. Wow, I, I lost this voice now. <laughs> All your pain and suffering slips away. Everything becomes numb. And you feel, and you feel nothing. Yeah, you may be right. I thought that about that while you listened to what you had to say. Soon. But the only one who would be satisfied with revenge would be myself, right? If I become a murderer, my mom would go to even more pain and suffering. My friends were in the movie too, and all those people would care about me as well. <laughs> the boy with the walls says some interesting things. That's right, I finally get it now. I'll never forgive you, but I'm the, the one who should be punishing you. After all, isn't that what my mom and the prosecutor guy are here for? Done. <laughs> Done. You said some really profound stuff right now. Okay, perhaps you should stay up a little more yourself. <laughs> Is that so? Well then, young one. It is time for us to depart. Where to? To prison, of course. That place will be our home. Our home? Well, that's an interestingly... What's the word? What is the word? The other end. Um... What profound, um... The fuck is the word? Like, uh, synonym, synonym is too nice, come on, dammit. Uh, I'm not gonna get it right now. And with that, the case that, that involved and affected so many people came to a close. However, there was still one last thing I had to do. Oh. April 8th, uh, two days later, 2.54 p.m. Grand Tower, PIC meeting room, getting, getting your badge back then. Mm. 
Mr. Ritter, try to keep you waiting. I might to go like away and the rest of us here. Mr. Edgeworth, the formal proceedings had just come to a close. Mm hmm? What are you talking about? This is the place where I once relinquished my prosecutor's badge. The face is your prosecutor's badge. Prosecutor Edgeworth, what is the meaning of this? Consider this my resignation. I am no longer a prosecutor. In order to save me when I was suffering from memory loss, you... A certain man once said, the only ally a defendant has is their attorney. Uh, that sounds like a phoenix court, what I don't recall it. By trusting the client, an attorney draws closer to the truth. And the sight of that man still shines brilliantly in my eyes. Definitely. Never mind. No, yes. Just as the image of my father fighting in court does. Gregory. However, this is nothing more than a man and my father's way of life, than that man and my white father's way of life. And it's not mine. Is that his breath? I think I shall live as a prosecutor after all. I see. So you made your decision. I'm sorry. No, no, I understand. That's your answer, isn't it? It is. Okay, then that's the end of that, of this conversation. I regret it. Even if, even if you beg, beg me later, I won't let you work for me ever again. <laughs> oh, I understand. But you know, Miles, might I ask you why you chose to leave as a prosecutor? Mr. Shields, you asked me this before. The fact that I was a prosecutor, I to say people as a defense attorney. I wanted to think carefully about how you felt to say leave life. Leave your life from now on. I've thought long and hard about that question ever since. How I should live my life. And after this case concluded, I finally found my answer. I want to save people as a prosecutor. Duh. As a prosecutor? Simon Keys. He too was a victim. Absolutely. I mean, that's how criminality of them works. Oops, there's it. He lost a parent in a past murder and with it the ability to be living anything else. I too know that feeling. The feeling of losing what's important to you and being unable to believe in anything. It's been a while since I've seen this drinking game picture. Just like the 16th time, maybe? I know that everything during my lonely battles in those days. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. The one who saved me was... Have a connection to Sea Phoenix? They kept eluding three small times. No, they're not, they're not like giving me a spot. Mr. Keys must have been all alone. When he will find salvation from the law, he had no choice but to turn his head and to revenge. And I suppose you never thought to seek help from the police? No, I mean, no, I mean, as long as police was around, any evidence would be destroyed by him. Excellent, I did something like that almost happened today during Patricia's trial. I wanted to say those like Simon Keys. So, how would you save him? I'm sure so this tragedy could have been avoided if only he could have filled light on the courts. But instead, he was concerned, cornered by Blaze the Best, who used the power of law for evil. The, the form of the law can change depending on who wields it. It can be all, yet once the shield to protect and the way to harm. That too is a contradiction of the law. I can't mix them, huh? We talk about those at the end of case 3. Let's look at that. That's true. It's true, it's a contradiction in the law. The way the law is right now isn't always completely right. 
I'm really not not a fan of this song. As far as like ha happy end of case songs, this is not a good one. The only way to write those contradictions is by joining in the court system. The one who could have saved some case was not an attorney, but rather a watchman of the law, a prosecutor. I shall face the contradictions in the law as a prosecutor. I see. That's sounds like you. But you know, it'll be tough. It won't just be far walking about. You'll be going up against the law itself. You do realize that, right? What do you mean? I do. However, someone must. Right. Yep, yep. I go by place in your tell. The law and all and crawls. Just like all of us do. I'm sure you can pull it off. After all, you're a cracker son. We're constantly swapping the soundtrack. Wait! When I had hiccup early on, did I only have one hic hiccup? I feel like I did. <laughs> Maybe I'm forgetting other ones, but I feel like I only had to hiccup once. The old man would have never came in up, no matter what. His eyes always saw you, but his eyes always saw only what lays lay straight ahead. Emulator slow down. Mads, when you chose to leave as a prosecutor, you eyes looked like just like your father's. Gumshoe hasn't said anything. He looks like you've grown a bit. A bit. Gumshoe if it serves a race, is what he does. I really wish the old man could see you now. Thank you very much, Mr. Shields. So then, Mr. Everybody get ready to work. Allow me to formally return this to you. Please do. <laughs> with a have with a gamble, I tell. I, Justin Courtney, as a member of the PIC, do hereby return to my sanctuary the rights and privileges of a prosecutor in the name of the goddess of law. <laughs> Boy, this is much emptier now. Proof of my position. However, oh, I prefer to keep it in my pocket. And with that, pass it ahead, but it's refined. That's great, sir. So I'll then pass it ahead, but it's time for Uncle Wade to make his exit. I have to report to the old man all about the traitor. That's right, family. <laughs> Thank you for everything, truly. The next time we, we meet just might be in a courtroom. I hope you'll be ready. I can wait my dad look like it, but he's an ace attorney after all. I look forward to seeing the attorney my father trade in action. Take care. Father here the answer. Welcome back. I'm guessing she, she has a good chance of becoming the head of the PSE now. Judge Courtney, I must give my thanks to you as well. To me? You sought to fix the corruption within the PSE from the inside. That must truly have been a lonely battle. No, it was not. For I was never alone. Because the car is always by your side, right? You? You made me realize that one could fight in such a way. In the prosecutor's office? No. The entire legal world is caught up in this contradiction. If that cannot be set right, there is a, a truth that will never be seen in the light of day. It was only through your help that I, was, that I was able to find this, this new path. One that fights against the contradictions in the law. I do find that promising. As one in the service of the goddess of law. You shall certainly succeed in helping the law grow. Let us meet again in the courtroom. Yes. I must apologize for my shameful action in the trial two days ago. Next time, I shall fill my duties as a judge perfectly. Your Honor, I do not intend to speak regarding your ideals. Must I get the right to it? However, the greatest judge I know is one overflowing with humanity. Even during the trial, that job's experience has been 
anger, sadness, and joy. And it's almost on the idiot part. Right. But nevertheless, always hands down the correct verdict in the end. The same. Always. No, he does not. In the, in the end. After like overturning his own on his own um, What the fuck is the word? On uh, not trying to overturn his own judgments? What why am I not remembering the word? This bothers me. It's difficult to say, but sometimes I feel that perfection is not always correct. So, a judge too has the right to behave in such a manner. Thank you very much. For the hitter that's worth. When I pursued them fought against best the best, the goddess of the law was not the only one by my side. Ah! It's on! When I had this cut out of me, I feel a strange sense of courage swell up from within. No matter how much pain, how painful things have become, no matter how strong the fell. When I remember that I am not alone, I am able to keep moving forward. Wrongs must be put right, once for John's sake, as well. Wait, where's Sebastian? I suppose Sebastian's story arc did end with him beating, beating uh, his father, but overcoming his father, but we're not farming him at the ending. John too lost his father in his past crime. That is more important to me than even the words of the goddess of love. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm sure the goddess would be angered by those words. Ha! <laughs> your bond, your bond with your son is the secret to your strength, I imagine. Well, what's it like to completely outside the frame? I don't have to be perfect. I just want to grow little by little. Both as a judge and as a mother. That is how I feel. <laughs> it seems that there's much of each of us here to learn. I agree. There are still but children before the world. Let us grow in our respect, if that's until we meet again. I shall look forward to that reunion. May the presence of the goddess of law be upon you as you follow your new path. And see my sure exit. Though I once lost my position as a prosecutor, I have now reclaimed it, so that I may tread a new path as a prosecutor. I shall surely preach the truth when at the end of this path. No matter how difficult the path may be, stop road scrolling. If any seek to stop me on my path, that they shall receive no mercy. No matter who they may be. I'll be at least out of the world or something like that. E. That was an excellent entrance to this Dutch franchise. Maybe the best story I've seen in any video game. The best plot. I had trouble uh, getting emotionally attached to many of the emotional plot points to this game. Let's go to school by writing for next. Hey, ain't you a journalist? There's nothing more important than information. Maybe my friend is, but you're still my business rival. I ain't telling you everything. That, that's my better, alright. I hope you can join even more people than me. I understand. I'll get my information using my own two feet. Feet? Yeah, that's the baby. By the way, would you mind me asking what sort of school you're writing for next? Huh? Gee, gee. Hey, don't need to be stingy. I'm your mentor after all. That, that's just highness. Art action. That, that's too really remote. I had to check that name out. Some excellent shape theory. That was quite the moment. That really took quite to me. More than anything else in the game, I think. Maybe one. 
Do they like being the king? That's what fucks me all that as well. It seems that the wound on my left arm has yet to heal. Oh, the body got who inflicted this wound upon me. This is a name I will never forget. Now then, shall I return to being a simple ice cream salesman? Perhaps this time I shall try being a creepy side of uh, my instead. What for the fuck's creepy? For now, I shall live a calm life until my services are needed no more. Fuck is creepy. That was a window into the killer's point of view. So he's in a. He views himself as unnecessary for now. Uh, I might be knocked up, but I keep trying to escape. I want to land the damn in my spirit. Ain't that right, Rocky? The gongs that. The gongs that sound a lot. What the fuck? And then, let's keep working out. Fuck your other scroll. Huh. Animation art not are art direction not from different people. Are you inviting to my step? I'm working as hard as ever. I spent everything covered in Martin. Perhaps this dude by two nets of art based on the life. That was too stupid as this man. Forgot about this dude. Once I leave the prison, I hope to find an honest place to surprise me. Uh huh. My, my tenders has been length extended because I was found in the world in some complex. Uh, 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 uh. Why do you think I've been giving up a... Yeah, let's get this pet joint for license. Damn it! Forever in prison. Regina, huh? Regina was really stuck by the truth about Simon too. I mean, I trusted him as my subordinate. But there's no use fighting over it. This show must go on. I have to do my best so that I won't lose to the magical... Uh, the magical ventricles the division. I will learn the greatest performance ever when the implore away the audience. This is how you read your plan, so... Lohan! I'd have to get to sell shell, right? So, it seemed like a cold shot in my old age. I don't know if it's my part. To think the life of my saint will win late and just go for driving such lengths. Then to that, I am going to find my humble self once more. Well, this time the child is here as well. Perhaps it won't be such a ball. Right, boy? Hey! So he did get out. To raise the surface chocolate cake. Yet then, the main thing that men went to the lure. Oh, you can't have all God. I shall come out here every day as you and me will have to come for me. When you are seeing the persecutor at first, I am truly grateful for them. I cannot believe I'm able to eat your desserts once more, Monsieur Master. Oh, I have been allowed to distribute my treats in both the detention center and the prison. For the past 18 years, I have brought joy to one and all with my delicious desserts. Hey. I still can't remember the word. Wait, her? Thanks to everything, boys. Thanks for everything, boys. Of course, I love cooking my thanks too. After all, I get this to stuff myself with Jeffy's delicious dessert once again. Oi, this time maybe I'll use one of Jeffy's seeds to create a new drug. The ducking diet. You're taking your stuff, you tuck it into your stomach while you're stuck in the cells. Keep the food delicious and slimming and not suck it for your health. These are just said and done. So who was supposed to be able to read it, to read it at that speed? Man, I'm glad I got to meet those cats so many feelings. But then I got a glimpse of my future cats. 
Mending. Zijn we dan niet aan de standing en klopt het met dat feest met mijn sketchbook? Zal ik steeds van mijn sketch op weer eens uit van Pieter Blakkaat? Hou dan mee. Hij wist daarvoor. Ik moet stuk in de most serious about my life. Do I think about my artist? Do I follow the path of my heart? Oh, by heart, I mean the heart of my little lady. By heart, you mean your crotch. That's the only part of his body that's beating. Beating. Mr. Bad, thanks for all your help today. Yeah. I testify about the high seven inch net as much as you need me to. Prosecutor Mitten says, well, seems pretty active too. It does not to take the same breath as quickly, but rather to live out as a prosecutor. Well, I'm kind of sad that I won't get the work done. It's something. Yeah, it looks like you've caught up quite a bit yourself. <laughs> I'm so happy. Mr. Bart actually faces me. If you ever need a hand from me, you should turn away and chance. Give me a call. Any time, any place. They used this fight from the first game. Observation. Oh, hacking, right. Their credits. My friends will find this far more immediately than I expected. One thing was proved that I have been threatened. Ow. Your crime is more heavy on one night than one night on the other. I'm sorry. Of course, I will make one idea. Uh, however, I'm so glad I can still be together with you, Fanny. Huh? You want to go back to work? <laughs> That's right. Next go up this way to the hospital. <laughs> Excellent fucking job to all of the organizers. Fantastic job on their part as well. This is an excellent organization. I'm glad myself to get the investigation came in time this time around as well. Good thing I was back here all the way from Europe. And now, I have to go and leave again. That kind of takes a fire out of a girl, as you can imagine. Uh, <laughs> but this is also that I can become an actual forensic scientist. So then, I guess it's time to go. Ah, if anything comes up, be sure to call me right away. The second I get the word, I'll dash right over. Her voice is never completely consistent. He used that sprite like once, right? That I mentioned of eating, eating paper. The creative the father, the creative access, but they since are hard for their children. Was the kitter the best? And does it? This way of life shall be the best at Hensford. Hensford, just as mine was. Mine's it's for the chose to live as a different life. I from his father as a prosecutor. I suppose, and that too is an answer. Hey. Next insertion. How were the credits originally before they inserted more things in here? I could never have imagined the truth of my old man was hiding. And like me, who once thought about the clan clan, my old man was trying to pull out the entire nation. But I swear to all that I will carry on his will. Even if the president was a fake, and the real ones was murdered. I swear that I took it with my men, so the revive sang far. Someday I will surely show you all this, a sang far bring away to life. Where's that from? Oh. Once the credits are over, I'll discuss my, more, more of my thoughts. And as ever mind to start calling me the best, that's worth a tear, is it? I don't like it. It makes me feel like I'm just borrowing my pup's power. I shall study even harder than before and try for the pups. 
I think I'm strong enough to show that I believe I lost to Mr. Edgebrad. You're not competing. <laughs> now then, let's start by thinking of my nickname. Whoa, where's this picture one? And why was, why was it this badly then and there? I know this happened, but thankfully. The film was the film was a roaring success. Yeah, can I see that? Because if I feel somebody married to me, then I'm in both success. The monster's band has appeared. This film is the true face of the monster. Oh lordy. Huh? Huh? Is that the only photo of Mr. Powers? Oh, oh. It some look. How could some like this happen? No, no, it's fine, isn't it? It's time to you that those are... Those are the ones that are famous, I hate. Uh, uh, much obliged. Never did this was done. I had the most trouble with, like, female voices. I suppose because... I had the most trouble with them because they lacked the most distinctive personalities. So then... John... I think you enjoyed watching you in the movie. It, it's not a big deal. It's like I had a major role or anything. What are you saying? You played a key character of Connecton Pusilla and Goldie. There is no one else besides you who could have played that part. Yeah, yeah, I guess. It might not be nice if there was a sequel. I really enjoy working as an actor. Mom, before we head home, can we go buy something? I'd like to get the crate at home with, with Lion Lily, but Dad... Then, one will not suffice. You'll be need two more. The one for me, and the one for Amy. Thank you for all, your, for all our supporters. And God for coming with me again. And thank you to a lot of people. Goodness. This game was fucking fantastic. I kind of want to do a certain something with it, but I'm not saying what. My office, room 1202. We're gonna get an ending picture? What? And I'm sure we're gonna get a kind of ways. Oh! We were real busy with all those cases, weren't we, sir? Ding ding, we won. Why did all those engines have been in such a quick succession? Because Simon? I mean, it makes sense. If Simon had, um. If Simon had. Meet Patrice or Roland Bird or someone. And but then Blaze would have just held Patrice or never get trapped. Blaze would have made sure that Patrice would go free. If he would have, he would have dealt with Blaze first, Patrice would have held Blaze escape. Blaze would have been struck down from power. But Patrice would have helped him. On top of that, Blaze would have been able to pull other strings in order to. Possibly get himself free, maybe. Especially with, some, with an ally that's reliable outside prison. And the president would have been able to pull his. would have been able to pull his strings to help Blaze. Since. Yeah, so. They have a lot of reasons to want to protect each other. So they all had to be killed in the same time, basically. I feel like he's out. Always pissing around whenever I'm around. Wait. Hey, don't that mean that you're mad at crimes? Hey, Gummy, that was real. I took a the impression that he's not entirely wrong. So then, Clay, do you intend to resume your training to become a great thief? Hmm, I don't know. Huh? Is something on your mind, pal? As I put it. Until now, I've always been chasing after my father. So that I could become a great thief, just like him. Like the previous other Russell, I suppose. But what's in your Mr. Smith made me think? Maybe instead of taking it my father, I should buy my own path. I mean, you didn't become a defensive anyway, either. Taking it our parents' shadow isn't the only path in life for a child after all. On that topic. Something that really bothers me a lot. It's when people name their children after themselves, right? Like, Junior, right? It seems to be it's something that uh, famous people do far more so, that are at least 
it's far more noticeable. Famous people. I, I need to go to the shop soon, so I need to wrap this up. But <laughs> yes, we have this other time. Um, you know, um, if we take someone like uh, Steve Irving, he's, he, did, he didn't even um, name his son Steve Irving Jr., right? He's a mild example. But, it's, but it's an example that really illustrates an effect here of, of, of what I want to talk about. Um, now Steve Robin obviously died ages ago at this point. I was very young at the time, so I obviously wouldn't. I didn't even know what we find out about him after he actually died. Um, his kid, whose name I don't even remember, does continue on the on the same uh, in the same profession, despite the fact that his kid hardly even know his father, he does do continue in the same profession of dealing with animals and even and showing them, off, showing them off for people and so on. And when and I, I I really do feel bad for him because whenever he's on TV or something, he's introduced as Steve Irwin's son, and that's I. I'm not sure he can even escape that ever. I feel like whenever he anyone introduces him, he's what well, he's introduced as Steve Irving's son. That's what he's kind of known for. Like I don't remember. That's what I'm calling him. I don't remember his name. I just remember that he's Steve Irving's son. And like to have to grow up as ever since you're a kid like that under somebody's shadow, basically, it's uh, that's not good for a child's development. That sets up. Lots of expectations where when, whenever you meet somebody new, they're like, wait, you mean Ir like Ir Irving, like Steve Irving? And you have to and you have to be explain that. And some of, and then people tell you start telling you how they're they were big fans of your father and so on. That, and that's that's how every relationship with anyone starts off. That must not be good for the entire development. Sets so up massive expectations for succession. To succeed. But that's just that's kind of just the problem of being a child of somebody famous. And one that can be of course dealt with proper parenting so on. And possibly but just not giving a child um, the same last name as you. That that that, that helps a lot. But then there are people like LeBron James Jr. Like they really won't be able to get away with that name, that legacy. Like whenever you think about people who are juniors, they often seem to go down the exact same profession as their their father, because it's always a father. I've never seen a junior when it comes to women. I'm sure it's happened, but I've never seen a scenario where a mother named their child after the daughter after themselves. It's always been a, a father and son. I, I just went person on the other it's just an example. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, well, yes and no. Elizabeth's a queen, Elizabeth's a king. <laughs> but also, so, only sort of. Um, royalty is a little different, obviously. That's constant, that, there's a lot of tradition there. But, like, why have to name your son after that? So, so like that, LeBron James Jr. Based on the fact that pretty much whenever that happens, the kids end up on the same position, there's. They see clearly express it experience some type of pressure to partake in profession. There's a story about how LeBron James Jr. Le LeBron James Jr. Uh, didn't want to wear a shirt with the same number as his father, right? Because he... <coughs> because he didn't want to be, re be recognized in the same way. Which is very silly in lots of ways. Um, I think that's kind of that's kind of speak for itself. I would I would almost consider naming your naming your child after yourself like that. First name, last name, and then go. 
the light, the light form of child abuse. It, 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 irresponsible in the very least. Because really you're just setting up your child to have massive social expectations their entire life and not being, a, not, not being able to really meet anyone without you. Not being able to detach themselves from you, right? Like, your life should not... Should not... Not put pressure, pressure on somebody to live their life in a certain way for the rest of their life, even if they are your kid. Um, that's... I, I disagree with that, fundamentally. Oh. I can't wait to be a hero in my own way. Well, that sounds good. But of course, it doesn't mean I could throw away the name of the kitty for the classroom. No matter what sort of hero you become, Kay, I will love it. But the hero you sort of... No matter what sort of hero you become, Kay will still love us. Be Kay. Why am I losing his voice? Thanks, Kami. But probably because it hasn't been. He hasn't spoken in a while. And Kami and Kami, they're about to be Kami. Of course, pal. I'm about to come post informant in my path as a, de as a detective, after all. Mr. Archibald, I look forward to continuing to work with you, sir. Yes, I'll be counting on you, Detective Gumshoe. Detective, you saved me many times during these past cases. You have my gratitude. I just suggest you look forward to your next salary assessment. <laughs> it happened. Well? What? That, does that mean that I think it means? How much more? I am saying that your salary ought, ought to be raised. <laughs> really, sir? I can't believe it! Isn't that, isn't that great, Kami? I mean, he... I mean, um, in the first case, I don't remember when Kamsu doing much in the first case, like... Unusual. Second case... He did... Help by... Um, essentially spying on the best investigations for us. And they bring us out. Third case. He was. I mean, he, he did things, but I'm nothing spectacularly different. Fourth case. He, he continued to help. Hell, that even after Edward could be the prosecutor. To continue to investigate. So, same as the fifth case. A lot, so. Then, then he had Judge John back. Then he. And. Ended up bringing us. Some of the final evidence. It looks like a dream come true. I could find this I could put my first instant noodle left on. How did I read that as first? I'm getting worse and worse at reading. <laughs> Good thing we're about to finish up. However, oh, that doesn't mean you can start slacking off. The real work begins from here on out. You should prepare yourself. Yes, sir! What's to that? Look at what my body and soul follow you after you, Mr. Edgeworth. That's a little too obsessive, but alright. The path Mr. Shields and Mr. Miss and Judge Gordy taught me. He should take a stand against the contradictions in the law and the risks truth at the end of the road. They're not gonna hear anything about what happened with Saint Paul after they found out about the president. I mean, they, they don't need Saint Paul doesn't necessarily have to find out about the president because it can it would be a huge international conflict. But it doesn't also they can't shoot. What am I able to do? That is a question I must continue to dwell upon. Certainly, this path will not be easy. However, what's the ending picture gonna be? This is a very long ending. Past the case of Edgeworth. When I when I pursued and fought against Blaze Pet. Why are we getting a flashback to the <laughs> previous part of the ending? The goddess of law was the, the only one by my side. Ah, it's on! When I have this cut out with me, I feel a strange sense of dread swell from within. When I remember that I am not alone, I am able to keep moving forward. Huh, your bond with your son is the secret to your scent, I imagine. 
Bądź, no. Eee, I completely forgot. That was sudden. No watch phone. I was searching for memories of the for new new yet I was with him. Now that you mentioned it, I do remember you saying something to that effect. But in the end, I was able to find a single person. Can you imagine it? A team, combining their powers in front of the other two. I mean, at the end of the first game, I, I was wondering what, why Kate didn't just announce this trio to be the other Kwasu. I'm pretty sure she is about to do that. She's about to announce the three of them at the other Kwasu, but it's weird that she didn't do it in the first game. I wanted to create an invincible team like that, but... What are you saying, pal? Don't you already have a team? Look at the three of us can solve any case that comes our way. Yeah, you're right. A prosecutor, a detective, and a great thief. It's not a defense of any. But I did create an invisible tree of humans that steals, captures, and preserves the truth. Knowing all that kind of makes me feel sorry for the truth. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Good, I am recording. As long as the three of us are all together, there's nothing to fear. There's that right, Mr. Atwell. Yes, you're correct. Now... Even until these last moments, my fat father went up along his own path. I too saw the plans along mine. They're accompanied by my somewhat boisterous comrades. As long as they are by my side, I can walk forward without hesitation. On this one path as a prosecutor. Prosecutors and attorneys, the path I walked is not my father's. However, I am certain that the two paths are not separate. Though we may walk in opposite directions, our destination is the same, the truth. Why, you may ask? Because both paths lead to the one and only truth. Hey, is this the new picture? Never mind. I thought that it was bad to cheap, cheap for a moment. That's a nice in the picture. <laughs> yes, sorry. No, I suppose I don't really need to save the game as well. Um, stay, but might as well. No, I suppose my thoughts on the game. This game yeah, yeah, is easily the best one I've seen in the AC20 franchise. I haven't finished Spirit of Justice. I'm in the middle of case 5, so it's not worth recording, and I don't have the means to record it either. Also, well, other than that, I can't. But unless that does something, or one of the spin-offs, like the... The... Um, the ones I presume are less can canonical, like the Leighton one, the Leighton crossover, unless they have something amazing, which... According to people, those are, uh, the spin-offs are not all that great, so... I, just, I d doubt it. I'm losing my standard structure. This really was a fantastic game, though, story-wise. The... Certainly the best murder mystery I've seen. Can I do it? Hi, this is sharp. Let's not stab ourselves with it on the throat. <laughs> I really did have trouble with, um, actually have for me like proper empathetic. Relationship between the characters. That's not usually the case either, right? It's not that hard to make me cry in the story. Might be due to the fact that I was voice acting. Maybe, maybe not. Mm. I would still have to rank this at the best case when it came. This, is, but this was an astonishingly good experience, and I'm glad that I recorded it. I didn't even mean to upload this originally, I was just recording it for myself to really just practice pronunciation, really that's what it came down to. 
I, I, I clearly need practice in pronunciation, so that's why I did it. And I, you know, I thought it'd be better if I recorded it, and uh, I'd be able to evaluate myself better like that. Also, I did just want to get my thoughts recorded down as well for myself, but I thought the quality of the series went up enough to where worth uploading. Um, something I, that I'm really glad about is that I did voice acting, like that I went for, went for it all the way. Again, I have never in my life done voice acting before this game, really. Not really, and I may have done some, some voice like this at some one point or another, but I have definitely not done voice acting before. I hardly even like spook out loud because I'm extremely antisocial. <laughs> like extremely so. I hardly even sp I hardly even like spoken out loud in the last couple of years. Um and you couldn't really tell that in the first the first episode especially because my throat went sorely at like 15 minutes of talking. <laughs> my throat was done so fast. And I had so much trouble pronouncing everything. I still have trouble pronouncing things of course. But um it's improving. I'm glad that I decided to not just read them but go for the voice acting, which is which was an interesting move considering how uh, uh, um, I suppose nervous. Uh, I'm a so, I'm a source of anxiety I had images from talking out loud. But I did go for it and it really did increase increase my overall confidence as a person a lot over time. I think the one that really nailed it down was um, Patricia Rowland. I nailed her voice so fast <laughs> um, and had so much fun with it. And like I did so well that I, I was perfectly comfortable you know, being loud and weird with it. And it's not something I've been comfortable with historically. Mm. I mean, before that, I, I did not this voice decently, but it wasn't a part, particularly masterful or skillful voice to do. It's kind of just doing this. It's kind of just doing this. But, um... The fact that it, even if it wasn't complicated, the fact that I was successful at it, you know, helped me get more confidence to try and do things. I did a good job with the president. The president's voice, a decent one at least. Especially after he bloated. We're doing this voice, and I... That's not really good to help me out. So, well, um... You can tell just how uncomfortable I'm doing voice acting in the first case, but the first episode where I like stop doing voice acting every now and again because I felt really embarrassed by it, and um, I, keep, I, I avoid reading things when I'm perfectly possible. Like I don't reread read any dialogue, so because I felt uncomfortable. Really. Also because of the fact that my thought got sore super fast. What's funny to me is that. Um, <laughs> I ended up learning how to voice act before I learned how to talk properly. <laughs> like, I still can't pronounce words properly, but I can voice act right now, apparently. Uh, this is a good step in the right direction. Getting the confidence to just talk out loud like this without you no know, whispering and stuttering and not, not, being, not being so, so embarrassed by my own stuttering. I don't know this as well. As much as I did before. I still stutter, of course. I'm not that much better at talking, but I just, it doesn't bother me as much. I'm less self conscious about it. Far less self conscious. The third court case got made me a bit less, a bit less comfortable less, again because I had so much trouble coming up with voices, but um, then the lace happened. <laughs> And that was just super fun. And the, that was the granny voice. Even if it didn't make sense. I definitely never... I didn't... I, the, the voice I'm most disappointed by, aside from like the various girls who had the same voice because they had the same personalities, <laughs> and I couldn't come up with anything. Um, the one I'm most disappointed by would still be my Simon voice. Because I have something better in my head, it's just really hard to execute. Like, like, I, I kind of wanted to, the first thing I kind of wanted to do was have this 
got to go my high pitch at the end of the sentence, like this. And I haven't talked like this normally, but then I go have it big at the end. I know. It's just really, really hard to do with that voice. It's such it requires such a pretty precise amount of tension in your throat in specific places and you need to change it all the time. <laughs> really hard to do. Uh, mm. I think I'm a lot of trouble like motivating myself, motivating myself to play this. Like normally with other Eastern games, I deal with them in almost one sitting, not one sitting, but within a week, surely, if I had the time. And I, I, I did have the time this time around. But with this game, because because you know, um, voice acting made, made it go slower, and because the game is so much longer, <laughs> and because it take, takes a while for me to start recording, sometimes like 20 40 minutes, to, if, depending on what I'm doing with the audio. Um, I, I did have a lot more trouble motivating myself to play it, and um, that's why I ended up actually recording like every only like every other week often enough. Until I until the recordings caught up. Like I I I tweaked the fifth case until I even decided to upload the first part. <laughs> and now I'm recording this. Uh, this patch um with with mm, nothing in the backlog. The next episode needs to be up in which is from this batch. I might have thought this entire thing as one long episode or I might hurry up with. Um, oh, that. What was I about to say? <laughs> what was I about to say? Right, that needs to be up in an hour and a half or so if I'm gonna stick to the recording session. Guess you. Sure. I've actually tried recording quite a few other games during this time. Um, I tried recording both. Uh, uh, well, puzzle, puzzle game that was new back then. Back then, uh, Papa is you. I got it for like a couple of hours, but I felt I wasn't able to commentate it properly, so I just stopped. Um, tried it with, tried it with Talos Principle as well. Went for quite a few hours. It was not something I commented very well, and also I haven't been able to finish the game because I, it's uh, it's very really repetitive and boring. Not a good possible game. Can't recommend. <laughs> I did record the entirety of. Uh, to the skip for and I can start uploading it but I'm not actually really more like more I remember remember the recording session is probably not actually worth it and I probably just put it on private. Because it wasn't that great. There was a quick some funny moments in my opinion but it's not necessarily worth it. Hmm mm. I probably want to record other games after this as well. I'm going to do something other other stuff this channel later, of course, but that's years of the line. I have lots of plans. Lots and lots of plans, but I can't do those yet. Mm. I do own Dango Rumble 1 and 2. I believe that's all of the Dango Rumble, maybe not. All the ones that are on Steam. I, and I do want to play it sooner or later. And I, since I heard that they have a lot of similarities to Estonia, that it could, it could be fun to record those. But also I know they're long and that they commit quite a commitment again and um, some, the one thing I'm familiar with is Danganronpa is some, some of the character designs like if you see them around. And they're far less exaggerated, you know? So it, I'm worried that it might be harder to come up with voices if the characters are less exaggerated because some of them just look fucking generic as fuck. They might not be generic as characters, of course. Not, to, I don't know that, but looks like it looks ready to inspire your voice a lot. Yeah, I'm very glad that I recorded this game. I was gonna play it either way. <laughs> I'm glad that I recorded it. Um.
Let's finish that this time, guys. But first of all, um, again, I was quite for a few things about this game. But interestingly enough, the, the thing that I considered the biggest spoiler was actually a fake. I... something I have been spoiled on is um, that Phoenix and Maya would be characters in this game with sprites, but apparently that's not real. <laughs> so I'm glad about that, in a sense. But I did kind of just, over the course of the game, the entire time, expect them to show up, which... Like... So up, which... Um, it did definitely affect my thought processes on some things. I wish I hadn't seen that, even if it was a fake spoiler. But I'm glad I didn't get spoiled on something that big. Um, I got spoiled on almost nothing plot-wise. I knew that there was somebody called the Mastermind in the game at the time. Um, it's funny if that's it. And that did make me suspicious of some characters earlier on, since I expected that there would be a plot twist where some character that we met earlier on turned out to be a bit of a villain. I suspected Ray because maybe because of that, and for lo the longest time. Kind of because he got he just kind of has the mafia mafia <laughs> boss look to him. Um, but that didn't turn out to be the case at all, of course. But also, well, basically nothing plot wise. That team I'd seen the Palacios character design very briefly. Thought he might be a, an air pilot or something. And I think that's about it. I'm stunned that um, I haven't had any spoiled on Simon though. Like, I have been stupid enough to go to the Ace of the Reddit as well. That's the thing, that's how, that's how I heard the term Mastermind before. I, I shouldn't do that, of course. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Like, why they have they done, gone, done it, but then, lucky enough, avoid the surprise and make spoilers. Also, this explains why so many people have. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna step for five picture and when I nice said anybody. Um, once the next issue of Tony comes out, it's 97, seven, um, which hasn't even been announced, of course. It'll be on a switch. Um, I don't have any means of recording the switch, but I could could try to set something up if I feel like it. I'm quite right over that. Right. As far as other potentials for what for the next game I might play, it might be that I don't record anything for like half a year, it's entirely possible. But um, as far as other potentials, I do have one game that I have bought and I have one here on my desk. desk desktop even, that I haven't played this ahead in time. I do kind of want to play that at some point, or another. I mean, that's why I bought it. Um. I still don't know how to deal with the audio issue, because whenever I'm recording this game, my computer span is loud as fuck, and I do, I've tried setting up furniture in different ways to block the air pads, redirect them accurately, um, and I can't make it not be super loud. So. So I don't know. We have to deal with that. You know that, that, that I think about it, with the way my computer is set up. A lot of the hot air that's being blown out of the computer is probably going right back in. <laughs> so it's really recycling a lot of the same air. Which is probably why it's overheating. Oh no, it, there we go. Air going is, is quite cold. I don't know how to make it. More quiet. I suppose I should just get a bit of computer sooner or later, but that's expensive. And I think that's about it. I don't think believe that's about it. I just want to be make sure to not forget anything because I don't want to leave like footnote videos or anything. Bit more why not? That's that. But yeah, I do have a kind of a tool or certain something when it comes to this game. Even now more so. Maybe. 20 years down the line. We'll see. 
Probably not. But if I do, it'd be. I don't want to just say that on record for now. Bye bye.